You're watching the Samsung Galaxy M62 disassembly. If you need any tools, there are links in the description. We're going to start off by removing the SIM tray. Next, we need to use a hairdryer or a heat gun to apply heat to the back plate so we can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. Here's a look at your plastic back plate. There are 15 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once all the screws are removed, we're going to disconnect this flex cable over here for the fingerprint reader. Once we have that flex cable disconnected, we're going to take our plastic pry tool and place it in between the plastic back housing of the phone and the frame of the screen. And then we're going to run it along the edges and pop the catches off. Now we can lift up and remove the back housing. So taking a look at the back housing, we can see the NFC antenna is located right over here. You also have a few antenna flex cables right here and on the bottom as well. On the other side, we can see the loudspeaker is located over here on the bottom and your fingerprint reader is located over here on the side. There's also a layer of graphite over here to help transfer heat. So back to the phone, we're going to disconnect the battery cable first. Once we have that disconnected, we'll disconnect this flex cable, which connects the subboard to the main board. There's a wire cable over here on the side which needs to be disconnected. You have one connector over here and one over here. Just go ahead and pop them off. Now we're going to disconnect the front facing camera. There's one Phillips screw located over here on the main board which needs to be removed. Once that's removed, we can lift up and remove the main board. Taking a closer look at the main board, we have the LED flash located right here. Your cameras are over here, of which two of the connectors are located on the front side and they can be disconnected by just popping them off. You also have a rubber gasket around the connectors over here. On the back side of the board, you have your SIM reader and micro SD reader located over here. You also have the two other camera connectors located over here, which can be disconnected the same way by just popping them off. There's a secondary microphone located here and a proximity sensor right next to it. There's also a graphite pad over here on top of the back shields. Once we have that graphite pad peeled back, we can see a thermal pad here, here, and two over here. They lay over these two chips over here, the memory over here, and the RAM and processor over here. Now we're going to disconnect the screen cable over here on the bottom right hand corner. And then we can go ahead and lift up and remove the charger port board. You have a charger port located right here. Your headphone jack is right here and you have a rubber gasket around these two connectors. Taking a look at the other side, your main microphone is located right over here. Now as far as removing the battery goes, there are no easy pull tabs to help you pry the battery off. I'm not surprised with Samsung. I can't remember the last or any phone of theirs that had a pull tab to help you pry the battery off. So for this battery, we're going to need to use isopropyl alcohol and we're going to have to squeeze some drops along the edges of the battery and then we'll let it sit there for about a minute so it eats away at the adhesive and makes it easier to pry the battery off. Here's a better look at your battery. As far as replacing your screen goes, if you need to replace your screen, you would need to pry off the back plate, remove all the screws, and then you'd have to remove the back housing. At that point, you would have access to the battery cable to disconnect that, as well as the screen cable over here on the bottom to disconnect the screen cable. Most screen replacements will probably come with this mid-frame pre-attached to the screen. So you need to just take all your parts from your mid-frame and replace it onto your replacement mid-frame. But if you have a replacement screen that doesn't have the mid-frame attached to the screen already, all you have to do at this point, heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath the mid-frame and the screen. And then you just pry your old screen off the mid-frame, making sure you run your cable over here through the slit over here. You get your new screen, apply new adhesive, and reapply it back to the mid-frame and just reverse the whole process. Moving on, you have a 3D layer of graphite over here. And that's what helps transfer heat away from your processor or components. You also have your vibrator motor located over here. Your earpiece speaker is located up here. And your flex cable for your volume keys is located right over here. There's also liquid damage or water damage indicator located over here, this white sticker. For the repairability score on this phone, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. It's a fairly simple teardown process. The only difficult part is the battery. It's very difficult to pry that off and you are going to need some isopropyl alcohol. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put the phone back together.
Once you have all your screws back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.